Well, well, well. What have we here, brave new viewers? I am the controller of this lifeless, godless channel, run by the psychotic, sadistic maniac, Roger Walker. Go now while you can, before the video podcast starts, before he starts talking horror with the Horror Queen, the Horror Queen called Chris. If he finds me warning you, he will kill me. That is, if I'm lucky. What have we become on Slasher Pepper? to another video today is episode three on talking horror with this time with chris also known as the horror queen on instagram how are you doing good how are you i'm doing great i'm glad to have you on the show i've been uh i've been a fan of your page so it's it's kind of <laughs> weird to talk face to face <laughs> thank you did you did you see the other episodes yeah yeah they were really good i actually watched um gabby's the other day Oh right! And she always does so good. <laughs> <laughs> and you also saw the one with uh, horror head, like earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, cool, cool. So you're kind of familiar with how this works then. Yeah. Um, now I don't know if you post a lot about this, but I'm I'm not really sure what your favorite horror movie is. What what would that be? Pieces. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That one is so good, though. It is. I um I recently did a like a history of video on that one. And um, it's it's it actually has quite a fun fun history to it. Did you know that uh, when the girl gets like cut up in half, like via mm-hmm. waist, um, the woman that was also the costume designer or like wardrobe lady, mm-hmm. uh, she was the mother of the actress of the girl that gets cut up. <laughs> so when they filmed that scene, <laughs> she wanted to see. Of course, she was like, "Okay, I'll I'll check my daughter out cut up." Yeah. Um, but when she walked into that room, she fainted. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what Honestly, makes you love that like movie so much? Anyone's mom would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what makes you love that movie so much? It's it's so cheesy. Like it's just fun. Like a lot of people think it's a bad movie, and I mean, it kind of it kind of is bad. But it's like the best bad movie ever. It's just fun, and like the random karate and just the lines. It's just. <laughs> It's great. It's such a fun time. Yeah, or like the girl on the skateboard, or or um, at the beginning that like s- skates through <laughs> through the like, mirror. Like nothing what? to do with anything, but it's just a great movie. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. <laughs> when did when did you first watch it? Man, I don't even know. Years ago. Yeah. I have no idea. I finally have it on tape. Finally. But it's been a long ride trying to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. I was like, isn't that, I, I think that one is pretty rare. Uh, yeah, like I could never get it. I would find it sometimes, but I would always like lose it. Someone would get it first. And I'm like, man, oh, this right. would be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, over in the Netherlands, we can't even really get tapes because uh, shipping on eBay is way too expensive. And um, on, Amazon, on Amazon, you're never sure what you're going to get. Like if it's going to yeah. be uh one of those box VHS tapes or, or one of the like the yeah, sleeve VHS tapes definitely. so it's not good <laughs> it's it's a risk I'm not willing to take you know <laughs> yeah especially if you have to pay for it like that exactly exactly it's just one big gamble and I'm like I'll probably just get the blu-ray then <laughs> <laughs> might as well at that point <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what got you into horror or did anyone else Um, well, my dad used to watch it when I was younger and like, so we just started watching like, you know, Adam's family and like monsters, stuff like that. Um, and that was kind of my first taste of like little horror families. And yeah, yeah, I just loved it after that. I watched like Nightmare on Elm Street as a kid and I just was like always intrigued by it. Like it used to creep me out, but I was like, this is kind of fun. (laughs) Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like one of those, um, at the time it was kind of those, uh, Man, how do how do they say that? Like the um, fuck, I lost the word. <laughs> like a guilty pleasure, you know. Like you yeah. watched it and you're like, "That's fucking 
that's fucked up, but it's also kind of intriguing. I want to watch more. Yeah, like, I'm scared, but let's watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the Nine Man Elm what are some of the other ones you saw uh, early on? Well, not really a horror movie, but it horrific. Um, I don't know if you ever watched Fire in the Sky. No, I did like not. Like an alien. Oh my god, it's horrifying. Even now. <laughs> Um, there's like this abduction scene that just fucked me up as a kid. My grandma thought it was a great idea to show me that when I was like four and I like could not sleep. I was like, they're coming. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then she would let me watch like Jeepers Creepers. Oh, right. Stuff like that. We would like order it on paper and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Jeepers Creepers is one of my favorites too. Um, <laughs> it's so fun. The first one is such a fun time. Yeah, this, I would say the second one is really good too, but the third one, have you seen the third one? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> oh, wasn't, wasn't a good time. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, it's fun that you, um, that you kind of like dived right into it. For me, it was more of um, like a slow burn sort of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Like I, at first, um, I was like the, I was a big Marvel fan always. Mm -hmm. And um, I was always kind of scared to watch like Ghost Rider, like the fucking oh. awful movie with Nicolas Cage, like the 2007 yeah. one. You know what I mean? Um, but then I uh, then I watched that. I was like, holy shit, this is actually pretty cool. And <laughs> um, and I watched The Punisher, but it's also very violent and shit. And then mm -hmm. um, I think it was like Evil Dead that really got me into uh, into like oh. horror and stuff. That's such a good one. Yeah. <laughs> What about your franchise? What's your, uh, what's your favorite franchise? Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, everyone on the Talking Horror With show so far, their favorite show is Friday the 13th. It's mine too, so. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good franchise. Like, obviously, there's always the debate back and forth about Halloween and Friday the 13th. And yeah. I don't hate Halloween. I love Michael Myers and everything, but the franchise is a mess. <laughs> and yeah. I just think Friday the 13th, it has the most watchable movies in it. The yeah, most movies that sure. you can watch and actually enjoy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also feel like there's a movie you can use for for every mood. You know what I mean? Like if you want to yes. watch a, a pretty serious psychological horror film, just watch the first one. If you want to watch a, a, a comedic horror movie, watch the sixth one. Mm -hmm. if, I don't know if you're drunk with friends, watch Jason X or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Friday Five to me is always like around Thanksgiving. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like it goes right with blood rage for me, always. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, aesthetically, I guess those movies are kind of similar now that you <laughs> mention it. <laughs> and um, I feel like a lot of uh, horror fans kind of, um, you know, horror and heavy metal kind of go hand, to, hand in hand. Are you also a big metal fan? Um, I do like metal, yeah. I like, my music taste is kind of all over the place. Right. A bit. <laughs> but as long as it's not country or gospel, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> These days, everyone's like, as long as it's not country, and maybe like as long as it's not pop sometimes, but mm -hmm. no one likes country for some reason. <laughs> yeah, like, not my style. <laughs> Not anyone's style, apparently. Oh <laughs> There's got to be someone out there that likes it because they keep making it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably the musicians yeah. themselves like it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I also know you're uh, uh, a punk fan. Like you saw The yeah. Misfits Live. What was that like? Yeah. Oh, my God. It was so awesome. Like, I love Misfits. Obviously, being from Jersey, too. Love Misfits. We all do. But it was great besides breaking my toe which i will be proud of forever but <laughs> you actually did though yeah <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just hurt it you actually broke it no i broke my toe <laughs> <laughs> i got stomped out in the mosh pit <laughs> <laughs> well it's something worth telling in, in your autobiography someday <laughs> yeah I broke my toe at misfits <laughs> yeah it's 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 like the subtitle the Horror Queen Chris, How I Broke My Toe at a Misfit Concert. <laughs> right? <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> Just so in-depth. Yes. 
just everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since you're a big um, Misfits fan, are you also a fan of uh, Cancer Slug? Or do you know Cancer Slug at all? No. Oh, you got to give them a listen to you. They're really good. Yeah, definitely. They're a bit more dark and fucked up, but still really good. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give them a listen. I'm always down for new music. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, nowadays there's a lot of, like, toxicity going on in the horror community, like, more so than a few years ago. That's because, of course, the community is getting bigger and bigger. So, um, yeah. You'd figure something like that would happen. What do you think of the like the current state of of the horror community? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there is there is a lot of toxic stuff in the horror community. Um, there are a lot of good people though too. So it's, I feel like it kind of comes with any community, like the gaming community, anything metal community. There's always like good and bad. Um, and I feel like it kind of goes up and down. Like sometimes, like I feel like the best peak of the our like community was probably about two years ago and everyone was like really positive and everything now it's kind of like I feel like it's going to back up again but it did get pretty negative there for a while um but hopefully we're on the road back up um especially with a lot of new people you don't want to like turn people off from the community either especially just yeah. coming in and they're trying to make friends and all this crap's going on yeah, I made a video about that recently um, because I, I actually got a hate comment. I never do. So when I do, I make an entire video about that shit, <laughs> um, just laughing at it because um, mm -hmm. it, it was on the video with me and, and Allison, Horrorhead, and it was, um, you and Allison are completely talentless tools. And that was just a comment. And um, so I did my research on that guy and I found out that guy was like canceled on Twitter like a year ago. And he had basically just had this meltdown on Twitter. Like he was swearing at everyone. Like, no, fuck you. I'm right. I'm doing it right over here. Um, wow. <laughs> so I was like, you see, these are the type of people that will post hate comments. They're canceled themselves. Um, yeah. They're always just like jealous people that, that have accomplished absolutely nothing in the community. So yeah. it soon, people just soon let that stop them from, from creating great shit. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, it's more of a reflection of them than you. Exactly. I mean, when exactly. people lash out like that, it's, you know, you're doing something right when people act like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, when did you start collecting horror? I mean, you're a big collector, obviously, just looking at your background. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely blown up a lot over the last few years. Um, I always had stuff like I still have some of like my dad's tapes and things from when I was younger. I kind of lost stuff like over the years. Um, and then I kind of moved away from horror for a while. Like I kind of went through a period of like trying to be normal oh, I in see. life because, you know, no one in my life really was into horror or anything. No one really liked it. So I was kind of trying to suppress that a bit and I wasn't really pursuing my love of it um and then a couple years ago like I was just you know kind of thinking and like just not very happy with where I was and I was like I'm not really doing what I want to do so I was like you know what I this is what I want this is what I want to watch this is what I want to collect so I went on like a little trip like a few years ago and it just re-sparked everything like it was kind of like a spiritual awakening for me <laughs> awesome so you just set up this eBay account and ordered everything you could see related to a horror movie you love? No, no. <laughs> um, I mean, I do, unfortunately, because Miss Corona right now, um, I've been buying a lot of stuff online, but I love thrifting. Like most of my stuff I found in like thrift shops for like nothing. Um, I like to trade with people. I like to go to estate sales. Um, as mean as it sounds, old people have a lot of cool stuff. So when they die, I really like rummaging through their crap. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but now there's not a lot of that. Like I've been trying to go to thrift stores, but people aren't really donating and doing stuff right, right now. Um, so it's online for now, but. <laughs> All the good stuff is gone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what do you enjoy collecting the most? tapes <laughs> yeah awesome yeah for me I, like i said that's hell for me because i i just need to pay way much for shipping if i do yeah i have just like 10 tapes right now and, and it's like 
Maybe one day I'll buy an eleven one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly, yeah, mostly. Really um, sorry. No, I was like, that really sucks that you can't really get that. Yeah, yeah. Shipping is like seventy bucks from from U.S. Jesus. to Holland. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I, I. So that's why I mostly um collect paperbacks because mm -hmm. um. Those I can buy on Amazon. And for some reason on Amazon, shipping is like seven bucks, you know? So mm -hmm. um, I'll buy like movie-related books or something. You know, I I'm recently uh, got into like the Aliens books, you know, or, yeah. or like that sort of stuff, which I also really enjoy. So that's what I'm mostly yeah. collecting. Mm -hmm. that's sort which is of cool because I don't see many people with those. Exactly. So, so I can't, kind of, I guess it's actually really cool. Yeah, there's something positive with everything negative, you know, that kind yeah. of forced me to, you know, collect those things and I enjoy it, you know? Yeah. That's what it's about. Um, like, you know, that's what I tell people even that ask me about like collecting things. I'm like, you know, some people will tell me, man, I really hate VHS, but people love it. Or they'll be like, I really hate Blu-ray. And I'm like, just whatever you want. Some people don't even like collecting anything. They'd rather just stream stuff. And I'm yeah. like, whatever makes you happy like we all like the same thing we all like horror so however you want to do it do it yeah, I, I really don't get why some people are just so so busy with with what other people do and how they do it you know mm -hmm. if you want to collect i don't know um horror mugs who am i to judge you <laughs> yeah if that you makes you happy that. then go for it it's your money it's your collection. exactly who the fuck am I to tell you to stop <laughs> buying horror mugs? <laughs> Those are stupid. Don't buy them. Yeah, that's <laughs> so lame. And I feel like a lot more people understand that now than than earlier. I feel yeah. like earlier everyone was just kind of like up everyone's ass with like their business. Like now everyone kind of minds their own business, I, I feel like. Um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely like maybe that's where I feel like it's kind of coming up in the community a little bit where people are kind of more just doing their own thing and, yeah. you know, other people are into it and they're forming friendships that way. And no one's focusing as much. I mean, there's always going to be those people, but no one's focusing as much on what other people are doing. Like, it's just like, everyone's doing their own thing and that's fine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I feel like with this whole coronavirus, um, like there's going to come a lot of, uh, like it has been a pretty negative few months this year. Uh, everyone seems kind of, yeah. you know, everyone's just done with with uh, the coronavirus and stuff. And everyone um, was really caught off guard with like the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff like that. Yeah. And now with the elections coming up and shit, it's just so hectic. Yeah. And um, but I do feel yeah. like there's a lot of positivity coming from this eventually. Yeah, I think I think everything kind of like always has to kind of plummet a bit before it can come back up exactly like that downfall it's it's like bitcoins mm -hmm. <laughs> it just goes <laughs> upwards and downwards all the time <laughs> yeah is there anything you would like to add to the um talking horror with episode um i don't know we've talked about what <laughs> <laughs> yeah for, for sure no that's like when people ask you tell me about yourself and you're like uh, who am I? My name is, um, what is my name actually? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I will, I'll, um, I'll just link your account in the description. So if anyone wants to check, uh, Chris out from the horror queen, make sure you, um, check her page out in the description. Um, she posts a lot of cool horror stuff, so definitely check it out and yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild.